Hello, if you didn't catch up to this point, Unity is not a good company. And if you have not heard about the recent kerfuffle going on over there, oh boy. <laughs> so Unity now charges developers for players downloading their game. Yeah, so if I go to Steam, City Skylights download. This action has costed the City Skyline developers 20 cents. Of course, not today, because this was introduced like yesterday. Although you might argue, wait a second, but they didn't agree to this. Like they've released the game under a different license. Screw you, doesn't matter. Unity will take the 20 cents anyways. So I thought maybe today we could look over the fantastic things going on in the Unity land. Unity made this beautiful blog post. Plan pricing packaging details, which is just fantastic. They had to add this edit because they were so vague in their blog post. Standard monthly rate, but then it says per install. So is it monthly or is it per install unity? What are we gonna do with the money? Pay talented engineers to fix all the bugs or give it to shareholders? By the way, I would like to shout out shout out to John Ri Ricatello, which looks like <laughs> That is the man. That is the man running the. This is the face of Unity right here. By the way, have you heard about uh, the whole like loyalty program of Unity, so that uh, game developers or game developer YouTubers uh, get a cool hat every month, uh, so that uh, they will not uh, speak about uh, this? Yeah, that is a thing. Ricatello. You know what? Shout out to Mike Greg, because like, do not attack him. He is one of the developers, and he needs to defend Unity. Which is a losing battle. Good job, your dad is a. I would be. If I saw you in the forest, I would run. You know, uh, every time Unity breathes oxygen, everybody says, hey, switch to this. Uh. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> like, as a Unity developer, if you want to make a game, do not use Unity. Use Kudos. It's a fantastic engine. I don't use it, I've never used it, but it's a fantastic engine. And I can tell because honestly, John Ricatello is the lowest you can sink in your life. Out oh, to John Ricatello, I love John Ricatello. Mwah. Is some sort of out of season April Fool's joke? I wish. So many questions I'm trying to find. Can you send me that? Oh no, please? Unity, please give him more money. Why is the, why is this the only man that actually responds to these questions? I'm so sorry for him. John Ricatello. <laughs> I'm going to save this image. Even a rat is smart enough to know when to abandon a sinking ship. Today's fantastic idiots. Hey, 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 do, do you remember machine learning? No, that doesn't exist. Hey, 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 hey. Today, you, today if you download Unity and use our AI, you get 2% money of your own money. Gentlemen, have I ever told you how much I love John Ricatello? He, he's like my... Favorite Marvel character. I love, I love what you make. You make a game because you like making games and you're passionate about game. You are an idiot. That you are not trying to squeeze the amount of money. You know what they say? Life is like a cow. You have to milk it and you can find it in church. Mike Gage. Mike, shout out to Mike Gage. Let's look at him. They're trying to silence us. This man is like Jesus Christ. He sacrifices his own life for your sins. History will remember that. Wow, he is even like doing things in, and not like John Ricatello that he... I mean, he does things, but nobody wants him to do anything. <laughs> I love how you like censor the, the forbidden word, the you word. I'm gonna censor this now. Every single time I say you, you're gonna hear the blip. Oh, by the way, Procilio is a cool game. It's like a, it's trying to recreate an old version of Robocraft. And the guy said literally, if they won't backpedal on this, it's done. Like, it's a, it's a project he works in his free time and all of the servers and garbage. He will actually be unable to support this game. An install is defined as the installation and initialization of a project on an end user's device. So the community is a little bit split on this. It's either that once you install it on a device, that's one installation. Another is just say, if you have a WebGL build, every time someone opens your game, Tough luck. You're trying to somehow help you guys. Feel free to add captions. <laughs> True games are made with love and not made with unity. The love for John Ricatello that is. And then we told them we we're going to charge them a fee for every game installed. You know, it's really difficult trying to look for game development memes because then you can get something that's funny or you can get 
the senior developers when junior developers do this. Go back to Twitter. I would like to impersonate John Ricatello right now. Hello guys, it's me, John Ricatello. Yo, I, 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 I. Can I do I pull? Yes, but it's not. Hey, wait, hold, I forgot about that, you know? You acquired or merged with a Mauro company and a lot... I, I think like less people actually heard about this, but yeah, that was a thing. And, the, and then the infamous thing happened. Download Godot for Windows. Yes. No, I will do this right now. G -g -g <coughs> There's a dotnet version. <sighs> that is incredible. I want this. Make a donation. I'm sorry, but I'm cheap. Open with Archivizier Vinrar. Mm, Please confirm. Open asset library. What is asset library? Oh crap. Oh, this is garbage. Oh, this is, oh, this is, this is horrible. This is a horrible browser. Holy garbage. I receive subscription fee. Percent of installs. Revenue split. Whatever else I respectfully add into the contract <laughs> for this. You receive. I love you, John Ricatello. One day I will die. And what use will that have to anyone? But if John Ricatello will be able to milk the most amount of money out of me before I die, I will actually be useful to some corporation. That is huge. An independent developer, you transported and regular pro subscriber since 1.0. With a lifetime subscription that expired, but that was lifetime. <laughs> I love when companies do this. Oh, he used a lifetime subscription. I have no idea why, why any company does this because later they always backpedal on this. Oh, thank you, Johnny Catello. Johnny Catello. My name is Johnny Catello. Yeah. How does he speak? Hold up. John Riccatello. John, great to have you back on the show. Great to be here, Morgan. Great to be here. Guys, guys, I'm gonna take your money. Guys. Mm, level. Oh, it's levels, of course. Uh, level. Oh, maybe this. Huh? <gasps> oh no, hold up. Camera, camera, camera options. I need this. I need this. Please tell me there are. Can I... <gasps> Zam. Zad. Oh, cholera. To secret laboratorium. Oh, 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 oh. This meme is gonna be dead even when... It's, it's dead today. Which is funny. Let's look at the official U development. The, 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 the U, do you. 3D. This is where the gaming happens. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, we didn't need to go that far. <laughs> I got a major update from you about their new fees. You regrouped and now say only the initial installation of a game triggers a fee. It was mostly one trigger fees. Devs not on the hook for Game Pass. Then what's the point of the download thing? Why ca can't you just say like, oh, the, the, uh, we will charge you every time? Like, you're not already taking a cut when we like pay for a game, when we buy a game. W what's the point of an additional cut for downloading the game? Like, it's the same thing. I was like, okay, yeah, we released an update. Then charge for an, uh, releasing an update. Holy garbage, charge people for releasing an update. Which is still stupid because it discourages game developers from releasing updates because, well, they will have to pay money. 10 years of academic training wasted. I mean, it's kind of like that. I'm actually quite good at the I know a lot of hidden features that people don't really know about. Uh, but yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't really talk about this, but my opinion, you are taking a time bomb. This will probably not kill them. They'll probably backpedal on it, or actually, like, not backpedal all the way, but, like, sort of, so that it will be, like, it won't be good, but it'll be, like, it, and people will just lose interest and move on, like, well, welcome to the internet, that's how it works. But one day they will release something, and they will actually die. Your is actually going to fall. The company is going disintegrated. John Riccatello. This is his number one mission in life. I just think this is ridiculous. Everybody knows it's ridiculous. And we'll see how it will turn out. Because honestly, I would be happy to be forced to switch engines because that's something I really want to do. To that, I say, thank you, John Riccatello. You are truly doing so much great things for the community. Without this, so many people would still be using you. So thank you, John Riccatello. We are already grateful to you. That's it, that's for today. Well, bye, stranger.